Hey guys, good morning. Welcome back to another vlog. Uh, today we are heading into Cannes to do a helicopter flight because for those of you that don't know, that don't follow me on Instagram, um, maybe I didn't even... Did I tell them on Instagram? You probably didn't even mention it. I probably didn't even mention it. Well, they know that you moved here, but I don't think I told anyone what you were working as. So, Paul, my boyfriend, this one, uh, found a job in Cannes for the summer. As a, I almost said as a helicopter pilot is a joke, but no, it's not. So he's driver for a helicopter company. What's the helicopter company called? Azure Helicopter. Azure Helicopter. So he's been working there for the summer and loving it. Uh, and they very kindly gave us, well, gave Paul, uh, like a voucher for a helicopter flight uh, for two or three people. Three people. Three people, but we don't know anyone. Um, so yeah, I'm a little bit scared because I don't like flying, but I've been in a helicopter twice and the first time it was like a very, very short flight over Orlando and it was fine. And I was actually kind of surprised because I liked it a bit better than a plane. Because like helicopters pull you up and planes push you. It's not the same sensation No, at it's all. not at all. Like for me, the heli you don't get like the dropping sensation with a helicopter that you get with a plane. I think that's why I prefer it. But the second time I was in a helicopter was over the Grand Canyon in Las Vegas. Before we got to the Grand Canyon, the plane had to, the, the, the plane, the helicopter had to make an emergency landing in the desert. And then we stood in the desert, stranded for over an hour before we had to get a replacement helicopter to come pick us up. So that was slightly less fun. So hopefully our helicopter flight today will not be as eventful as that.
it was a little bit bumpy. It was a bit windy. Wasn't it, Beauty? No. <laughs> yeah, but you're not scared of flying at all. Here's Jane. Having a little hand wash. Like in the olden times. You spray that at me. Okay. I thought you were... Eh, yeah, I knew you were going to do that. Yeah, so we've left Paul's work, or X work. Yeah, and now we're kind of just wandering around Cannes. Uh, we've come up to... Do you know where this place is called? Uh, no. The tower? I don't know. There's a church there. And it's Sunday, so... Unfortunately, not dragging Paul to mass. Mass is almost finished anyway. Um, so yeah, we're just kind of having having a wander. But this is the little church. Apparently, this clock is called Brian. As you can see, no idea why. But we were. Paul said there was some sort of like can sign or something. So we're trying to look for that. But I mean, this is quite high up on the hill, so it's quite nice view. So I think we're just going to kind of potter around here for now. So we have left Cannes, we've come out on a bit of a mystery tour, um, well, I know what a mystery tour is. Anyone out there doesn't know what a mystery tour is, it's something my mum invented before Google Maps was a thing, so we would basically just get into the car and be like, yeah, 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 we're going to go to Salkos, which is a beach, and we would end up not at Salkos, we'd end up at like Trun or something, which is another beach, or at Largs, so basically it's just a fancy word for let's get lost in the car. And wherever you end up is where you're supposed to end up. So that's what we've kind of decided to do. We've ended up in Graz, but we're getting a little bit hungry. And I saw a sign for an Indian restaurant. You know how much we love an Indian. I got Paul introduced to Indian curries. Never looked back since. Uh, so we put that into Google Maps. Yeah, we're gonna head there. It's called Le Nu Punjab. So I hope it's good. I sure do hear the other one. <laughs> because, right, okay, Paul, you can listen to this song. It's Over the Rainbow by the Hawaiian guy. This one was 100% convinced that this was the original version of Somewhere Over the Rainbow. You have no idea that the original version of Somewhere Over the Rainbow was from The Wizard of Oz. No. I've never watched it. Yeah, and what did you just ask me? How many times have I heard the original version? A lot! Considering I played Dorothy in my school's musical production of The Wizard of Oz. Okay, okay. So yes. How much do you hear them on the radio? Like, no, you're not going to hear Judy Garland's version of Somewhere Over the Rainbow on the radio unless you're listening to like musical theater airwaves. Okay. No, but I've never heard them on the radio. Like, that's why I'm so weirded out by it. But have you seen the movie The Wizard of Oz? I just said no. How have you never seen this? Oh. We're gonna watch it. No, we're gonna watch my version. We're gonna watch the 2008 St. Luke's High School musical production of The Wizard of Oz, starring me. So we found the restaurant, so let's see if it's any good. Hopefully it's living up to my expectations, because I could I could murder a curry right now, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, exactly. Um, but yeah, I just realized that we're in grass, um, which is a little bit up the mountain, a little bit, not too far. Um, but I saw on like a couple of other Instagrammers pages that there's this street that has like pink umbrellas all the way over the top of it. So I think maybe after lunch, we're gonna try and find that. I don't know if Paul's up for it, but that's what I've decided we're gonna do. We only have the car in the Oh, hello. You're wearing a skirt, right? <laughs> Are you annoyed that you can't get the buffet? Are you doing what? That you can't get the buffet. Yeah, I think that two of those skirts, I've tried them and I didn't really fancy them. Well, yeah, there was only korma and butter chicken, which aren't the best skirts. The problem is you guys made me taste the, the best one at first. Should yeah. not start by that. Yeah. Let's see you. I think it's because Scottish people know their curries. Scottish people like curry. Mm -hmm. So, we introduced you to it in the right way. Okay. Although, I'm, I'm slowly becoming more and more impressed with the curries in France. 
the it's majority. Not France that's making these curries, right? No, I know, but the fact that there is like good Indian chefs in France that will make good Indian food. Oh, they're probably France is known for cuisine. No, but like French people are more, they prefer like Moroccan cuisine. Yeah, because Moroccan was one of our colonies. Yeah, exactly. So it's always like tagine and stuff like that, which we discovered when we went to Morocco it was absolutely disgusting. Yeah, well, we ate it maybe. I don't think I would like tagine. At least that. Why are you hitting my camera? Oh my god. What is this? I'm a rebel. This is not a lasso. This is not a whip. This is this is a napkin. Can we do it? See. I'm at lunch with a child. <laughs> oh, I'm so excited. We finally found a restaurant that's given us naan breads in the right size. Yum! Yes! So we've come into the old center of grass now. And now we'll walk around and see if we can find these umbrellas. And anything else. It's all, all is on the table today. Is that the phrase? What? It's all on the table today? No, it's not on oh, the table. No, like, anything is possible today, basically. So the only problem is that I have ligament damage in my knee right now, my right knee. And I'm not really supposed to be like doing stairs or anything like that, but all of these tiny old French villages are very, very hilly. So, yeah. We'll see how we go. Although last year when you were here, I had a chest infection, remember, and we li literally climbed the mountain. I got that on video that you were you're threatening to bump my head into the wall. You know, even if my mom watches this, she'll probably say that I deserved it. Yeah. Oh, if, even if I just told her, like, yeah, Hazel was annoying. She's like, no, what did she do this time? Not that bad. Anyway, we finished our ice creams. Now we've seen this, like, perfume museum thing celebrating lavender, apparently. Perfumerie Fragonard. So we're gonna go and do that. So we've come down into the gift shop now. We weren't allowed to take photos and videos up there, but take some down here. I really wanna get one of these incense things. My cousin, when I visited her in London, had one, um, but it was from the White Company, and I think that the scent was sandalwood, and it was really, really nice. And I'm not really one for having really smelly stuff in the house because I think it can get really overpowering and it can give me a headache sometimes, like some really scented candles will give me a headache but that one was really really nice. So I mean if you like those kind of incense things, sandalwood from the White Company, highly recommend. This is such a bright and airy room, it's very pretty. C'est le. C'est fleur d'orange ou c'est de l'orange? Non, celui-là. Ah, c'est là. 
Euh, bergamote, menthe, encens, sel, iris, patchouli, utila. Mmh. Euh, après, vous avez. Ça, c'est le, le verre Toujours fidèle. Mmh. Je vais vous donner une petite astuce pour, euh, on va dire, euh, une petite vidéo de nez. Ah, je vais sentir votre propre odeur pendant 5-6 secondes. En fait, c'est l'odeur la plus connue pour votre cerveau. Oh. Ça va donc euh, réussir à faire ça. Ça se passe pas nice. Non Ça, c'est Néroli, pomme verte, romarin, tiens, c'est en fait ton cas et vanille. Yeah, it's for you. You need to smell it. Stop off. I'm switching between the two. Hold on a sec. If you want to feel the smell of the morning, this is called the dessert. I think it's very good in the morning. Yeah. Yeah. Re-adjusting the nose. No. Moi j'aime plus le Valentin. Le Valentin. On va prendre celui-là alors. Mais tu dois le mettre. Oui. Vous voulez essayer de le mettre Vous voulez essayer de le mettre Oui, pourquoi pas. Alors je vous donne le chat. Je l'ai mis dans un basque. Qu'est-ce que c'est ça Je pense que je dois le mettre ici. Tu as un bag gratuit. Je ne vais pas mentir, j'ai un peu de douleur de la douleur de smeller tant de choses. Smelling so many smells. But do I smell a smell now? You smell of a lovely smell. So he ended up going for the Valentin fragrance, which is what I said. Oh, look, look at that. Good modeling, love. Look at yeah. that. And I got it's a little... It's a very fancy bag. It's a very fancy bag. I'll offer it to you. That's okay. Oh, there's like a million hammocks. You want to catch the pigeon? No. But I am getting sleepy. You're making babies or hungry babies? I need, I need a siest. I need a nap. I want to have a nap. So we've ended up very, very high up the mountain. <laughs> I don't even know how we've ended up here. We have a great view. So that over there is Nice Airport. And then somewhere over here is Antibes. Further over here, that's Capital Antibes. And then here, are the islands that we flew over this morning. That's all the focus. Over there are the islands that we flew over this morning. It's cool. Oh, he's running away from me. Gotta go. Hey guys, that is me now back home after a kind of helicopter tour slash mystery tour date day thing. Um, while we were up the top of the mountain, my contact lenses started really hurting my eyes though and I ended up getting a really bad headache so uh, we decided to come straight home after that but because we'd gone to Cannes and then we'd gone on like a mystery tour from Cannes we ended up in grass and then we went up from grass uh, it took us the best part of, well not even the best part of, it took us over an hour to get home um, so I ended up taking my contact lenses out in the car, I did the drive without being able to see um, so I, now I think we're just gonna take the rest of the evening to chill, maybe have some dinner together and just, yeah, just chill a little bit. Um, but I started really struggling as well up the mountain walking. Um, if any of you make it this far in the vlog to find this out, I actually fell at work, um, not near the animals or anything, it was right at the end of the day. I was closing up the guest, um, we call it the terrasse, so it's like a little area where the guests can come up to the glass a little bit closer to the animals. Um, like a terraced area um, and I was crossing over the the rope that we used to keep guests far away from the glass and I left my foot behind and I fell flat on my face left my foot in the rope twisted my leg and I've torn some ligaments in the back of my knee so that means that I get to wear this really snazzy leg brace which is fun um, so the ligaments I, I've hurt are like just in here, so if I, I can't bend my knee properly, fully. Um, I also can't do stairs very well, and I can't like fold my legs in a basket. So there's just like some things that I can't do very well. Still working, uh, just taking it easy. Luckily the team are, are very, very understanding, so I'm just not running to 
far or anything. I'm just kind of trying to take it a little bit easy. And yeah, my battery is actually flashing. I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit because Paul, my boyfriend, is actually leaving. Um, he decided not to stay here in France. Decided that our future together would be more secure if he moved back to Holland. Um, so yeah, I guess uh, one of us is going to have to make a hard decision about our future together soon. Uh, meaning either we break up, I move to Holland, he finally decides to move back here. Um, I don't know, but for the moment he's moving back to Holland in a couple of weeks. And I'm going to stay here with the whales, obviously. I'm, I'm in no way ready to leave them. So, yeah, I'm going to be sticking around here and we're going to go back to doing the long distance thing, which isn't ideal. Um, but, I mean, we've done it for three years already, so I'm sure we can go back to doing it just fine. Um, and I have absolutely no shadow of a doubt that we will 100% find a solution very quickly because we love each other so much that we'll do anything to be together. And I think that's the thing that makes long distance relationships work, is the only way a long distance relationship will work is if you know that you're in it with the one you want to be with forever, because otherwise what's the point? So yeah, so we're just going to make the most of these two weeks that we have left together. Uh, we're going to go out, do some day trips. I think next week we're going to go to um, a natural park and we're also going to go to Provence, which is where all the lavender fields are. Um, so yeah, it should be nice. I should be having some more vlogs coming your way. But for now, I'm going to go. He's in the living room. We're going to watch some TV series. I've got him addicted to Downton Abbey, which is hilarious. Uh, if you don't know Downton Abbey, just go watch it. It's incredible. If you do know it, who's your favourite character? Lady Rose and the Countess of Grantham, 100%. Anyway, we're gonna go do that. So I hope you guys have a great day. Hope you enjoyed this vlog. As always, give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe below if you want to see some more. And I will see you guys the next time I make a video. Bye.